Hey there guys, how are you? I'm in Walmart right now. It's been a while since I made a video in Walmart. I miss the days before the world turned upside down where this place, this facility, this this magical heaven I used to call home uh, was open 24 hours a day. And I used to be able to come here at three o'clock in the morning. There was not another living soul here and I could do whatever I wanted, including screaming like this. Ah! Yeah, so what am I doing at Walmart? Well, uh, by the way, I, I had to put, you know, microwave. I thought it was really cool. Um, yeah, I came here to look for early 4K Black Friday deals. I thought they were out, but I guess I was wrong. So I will actually have to come on Black Friday amongst the unwashed masses. But anyway, as far as Ghostbusters Afterlife goes, I was really looking forward to this film. It was delayed, I think, a few times. Um, and uh, I finally saw it tonight. Now let's talk about it. Okay, let's talk about this movie in my car. There's just too many people in there, and I feel socially awkward right now. Uh, hold on. All right, so oddly enough, in the film Ghostbusters, there is a, uh, a sequence with Paul Rudd that does take place in Walmart, uh, which was some fun. But as far as my quick thoughts, my first reaction to this movie, overall, I really enjoyed it. I definitely think things picked up during the second act into the third act. Uh, there's some fan service, but as I've always said, I'm a fan, so service me, and it gave me what I wanted to see for the most part. I think it was well done. It felt like an actual film. There was, like, emotion, character development, some depth, um, and there's all those fun throwbacks to the original 1980s Ghostbusters films, which I really enjoyed. The first Ghostbusters film, I used to watch it on repeat on VHS. The second movie, I always sort of liked. I still stand by this. Vigo the Carpathian is the scariest thing I've ever seen since I was a child. Like, Nightmare on Elm Street, Freddy Krueger, Michael Myers? No, no, no. Chucky? No. Vigo the Carpathian. He will haunt your dreams. Ah. But overall, if you're a fan of Ghostbusters, I think this will be entertaining. And if you're not, I still think it's an entertaining movie. It's better than 90% of the movies I've seen lately. Also, um, I will say it definitely has a very strong Stranger Things vibe. Uh, not only because the, one of the main characters actually stars in Stranger Things. Uh, even the main younger actor is sort of reminding me of Eleven from Stranger Things. But there are a few sequences throughout this film where I'm like, that, like... I've seen that before. And like, even the third act, there's like a car chase scene. And I'm like, that reminds me of season three of Stranger Things. Uh, but either way, that's not a bad thing. I don't mind like little kids teaming up to take down a bigger threat, some kind of spiritual demonic threat l looming underneath their town. I, I like things like that. But um, yeah, I, it was a good movie. I'm just happy it was way better than that 2016 abomination. I just, uh, I guess mistakes had to be made to get something at least of quality. And I still have some raisin nuts I just found in my pocket from the movie theater. So either way, guys, those are just my quick thoughts on the movie. I recommend seeing it. Uh, I do have a review coming of it. I know I say that often, but this time it's true. So look out for my review. Uh, as always, leave your thoughts, your opinions down below. If you've seen the movie, what did you think about Ghostbusters Afterlife? Or if you haven't seen it, well, tell me how much you hate the 2016 Ghostbusters movie, or I don't know, just tell me how you're doing.